Hello and welcome back to the For the Bad podcast. So, lots of action in the Premier League this weekend. First up, there is a Friday game this week, actually. Wolverhampton Wanderers. I've never, uh, they're not the Wanderers, excuse me. Wolves. 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 Wanderers is what, I don't know how I got that stuck in my head. The Wolves go to Fulham. Oh, wait, they are the Wanderers. What is that? Are they? I thought they were the it wolves. They are the, the wolves. Like the wandering wolves. That's right. Oh. Moving on. <laughs> the uh they, they'll visit Fulham and uh I expect this one was an interesting one, even though I do expect a Fulham win. Um Wolverhampton have kind of got that bit of an enigma uh, you know, going for them. Uh but uh before we get into it actually, let's go ahead and uh we'll take a look at the uh, crying league. I mean the uh, predictions league uh, standings. And uh, this here is why I'm not sure that the predictions matter anymore. Twenty two points back from Jake. <laughs> Yo, and wow. it's it's not great. I had I got four points last weekend. Yo. I'm going to I got this week. four I'm points I'm left. I'm changing it up. I didn't know I was only four points back. I'm changing the whole prediction. Dude, you're 22 points back. I, that's why I'm changing There's, everything. It's up. first everything or last. Up. There's no second no, place no, prize. No, 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 no. We're playing this like we are in the top three. And I'm not getting relegated. I'm getting second <laughs> place, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's, a, it's a runaway story at the top there. <sighs> yeah, dude, it's looking like Man City two years ago in the league, just 60 <laughs> points by December, and you're done. <laughs> I will I will say that uh, before we get the predictions in, Mitrovic is a doubt again for this game. And uh, he'll be assessed tomorrow is what I've heard. So uh, what do we think? What do we think, guys? you think that'll affect them? I know they've been able to win without Mitro before, and they are at home. <sighs> Cottage at night. It's a night game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the cottage. Three to Fulham. Three to Fulham. A barnstormer, eh? Yep. I'm going to go 2 1 Fulham. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. (laughs) X, your. You know what? Your spreadsheet you sent me has gotten all. Confused. Oh yeah, it's probably Jack by now. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> yeah, because of uh, different uh, uh, postponements. I was about and, to say the queen. The queen was not uh, deceased whenever I had made that first spreadsheet. So and I got all. <laughs> and one of the caught like one of your rows got messed up, so that like it's 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 all a jumble. Anyway, um, any reason why we uh, why we're thinking Fulham or just. I'm not oh, going Fulham. I'm going Wolves, going. baby. Oh, I'm going Wolves. Here Wolves one zero at the cottage. Here Diego me. Costa letting the dogs out. Just, just <laughs> going. Costa. You really are going for some brave picks, man. I was kind of well, when I said I, I'm still kind of sticking to my strategy. Uh, you know, I said two nil Fulham. I've looked at some of uh, the statistics. Wolves haven't uh, scored. Away from home a lot, so um, that's why I didn't give them the skull. I think Fulham defend well. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll see Timmy Ream get on the score sheet off a corner or something. Always good to see him. Uh, well, America. Yes, absolutely. Let's see. Uh, since we're doing, since we're doing it uh, in chronological order. The next one up is uh, Saturday morning. Obviously, there's actually not a 7:30 game. Yeah, but, yeah, postponed. Uh, they're gonna let us sleep in. It looks like, but I think the next the next one is huge, as every Everton game is huge for them this season. Villa are going to Everton. This one was a this one was an interesting one. What do we think? Deuces. Yeah. I said a draw as well. I thought it would be 1-1. I read something that uh, you and I and um, Martinez are having a very large falling out, and you and I wants to get rid of him. But 
the the board wants him to continue to play him until they can get rid of him. You think it stems from the uh, I didn't want him to go up on the corner. He did that by himself. Comment? Probably wouldn't surprise me. Um, he, his behavior, man. Yeah, his, yeah. He's so good. I mean, he hasn't been since he came back from the World Cup. He's probably still drunk. Um, <laughs> just being real. Um, but <sighs> now I got a conspiracy for you. They put something in his gloves that made the ball gravitate towards him, and and that's why that's why my man looked a little better than usual. Because really? they put uh, lodestone shavings on the ball. He put- it in, so yeah, they they, they attracted yeah. the ball towards my man. That's why. That's why. <laughs> I couldn't bury the back the the last shot of the game. What's in that whiskey glass you're drinking? Uh, I've been on. Uh, don't, don't don't surf Reddit a lot with uh, FIFA, <laughs> FIFA conspiracies. Yes. <laughs> do you think do you think that uh, that controversy or whatever is going to affect this game that much though? Not no. I mean, no, he's not like a really. Goalkeeper. It's just it's just he a, is a good goalkeeper. subplot. Yeah, it's an interesting subplot. Yeah. Because think, uh, go ahead. Because I mean, now you've already had a manager sacked. You've got some interesting personalities in the club, and it's like, eh, are they are they going to come and stick it through the season, or is there going to be maybe an upheaval? Um, but that said, I I actually went draw here. I'm going to go one one. Um, I just think that Everton is not going to give up much with Dice. Dice is the um, manager, and they'll find a way to score a goal because they somehow have started to learn how to score goals. That was kind of my assessment of it as well. Uh, but I think this is going to be a a tighter defensive kind of game. You know, even though. Even though they were pretty open versus, I mean, well, they weren't all that open versus Arsenal. Our defensive mistakes let them be open. Yeah, uh, you know, but uh, Everton aren't going to be open like that. I think, I mean, I just don't think Villa will be able to break down the block, and yeah. uh, it'll be kind of a tepid game. What do you think, X? I'm going one zero to Villa, or I guess zero one to Villa. Nice. Yeah. Make a salacious pick. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of uh, some yeah. kind of something. Well, that I just think Everton's tripping. <laughs> like they're just over themselves right now. They got a lot to deal with. Unai's been there for a little bit longer. He's putting it together. Yeah, fair enough. Um, another one that I looked at that I thought was uh, oh, kind of tough yeah. to call. Yeah, two teams this season that have been a bit of an enigma. Liverpool go to Selhurst to visit my man Patrick Vieira in Crystal Palace. 245, that's super late. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, instead of the late game, instead of the early game, they're having a late game. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's another night game. Um, Under the lights at Selhurst Park. I said 1-1. I said 1-1. I thought there'd be... Wow. I don't think... uh, I don't think Zaha's back yet, um, and I think Liverpool will be hung over from that shellacking they've just taken. <laughs> Two sounds, I mean, it sounds like a pretty good reasoning. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who, who's winning that 2 0 there, Lewis? 0 to 2. Zero to two. All right. Well, you yeah, got Liverpool two nil. Yes. Noodles on the tear, eh? Okay. I think he. I think he gets a brace. Wow. Can I get bonus points if he gets a brace? <laughs> sure. <laughs> why not? Sure. Why not? We're gonna start throwing bonuses in to catch Patrick. <laughs> yeah, catch Patrick <laughs> you know somehow. what, guys? You know what? Yeah, we'll build this in. We'll build this in. We'll work on it. You know what we should do, and I, you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. We'll get to it. Uh, when we get through all the predictions, we'll almost save that one. I'll keep that in my pocket for a second. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 pull. I think I think um, Nunez, for some reason, is starting to play with some weird confidence. I don't know where it's come from, but 
that flick goal that he had against Real, even though they got shellacked, he's going to think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And he's going to start doing, you know, he's I mean, going to start Goldberg's, pulling uh, the tricks out. The goal versus Newcastle was pretty, was well taken as well. He's going to start pulling the tricks out and he's going to find ways to score goals. Um, and the thing is, Liverpool is getting a little bit more healthier. And, uh, you know, Klopp doesn't want to lose his job yet. So if you lose Crystal, all of the oh, that's all of the the um, the rioters get to show back up at uh, at um, uh, oh gosh uh, Anfield. So I think two one Liverpool. They must. They must. It's a big one. I think it's a big one. What do you think, X? I'm not going with Palace. I learned. I learned from the best there. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think o one pool. O one to the Liverpool. I'm the only one not backing them. I just can't. I, that's why I'm shocked with you. Like I don't understand where you're not going to learn your lesson. Like every time you do this with Palace, I, I just want to remind you, right? Like I'm looking out for you here. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't want you to gain points. Every time you've gone with Palace, they have let you down. So just. That's fair. But on the other hand, Liverpool played for 23 minutes versus Newcastle. Liverpool played for 23 minutes. 23 against minutes against Madrid. Yeah. You can't yeah. for less than 90 minutes in a Premier League match. Right. You just can't do it. Even with last time. Even, even, against, uh, even against Palace, though. <laughs> Even against Palace. Even against, Pal even against Crystal Palace. Because Eze is going to come on in the 74th and punish you. Hey, I like Eze in, in late I'm, in the game. I'm just saying, you know, Andre Ayu is going to – Jordan, excuse me, Jordan Ayu is going to come on with, a, with a, you know, an odd goal in 17 games <laughs> you know, against Liverpool. Uh, you know, I just think that, again, at home – it's Palace at home. They're weird. Uh, they're a weird team. Really hard to predict. But – my uh, my prediction comes from knowing that Liverpool, uh, while they're you know okay they're scoring a little bit more, uh, Firmino's back, Jota's back, they have yet to put a ninety minutes together. Uh, you know, and so uh, this could be another long day for them. Another long day for them. Uh, let's see. Speaking of long days, Leeds host Southampton. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, I don't it's know what to do here. Gonna lose. I don't know what. Yeah, I was gonna say. Not, well, I don't know what to do here. Option. Well, actually, actually, I do know what I'm gonna do here. They beat us. They'll beat Leeds. Southampton, one zero. Same exact, same exact scoreline, huh? Just one zero. James Ward Prowse with the free kick. The free oh, kick. always go with a free kick goal for <laughs> James Ward Prowse. One zero. Just proven wrong. What do you think? I'm Will? telling you, that's why I'm still mad about the Southampton. Uh, Wolves score because he had the perfect opportunity to take it on to goal and he played a pass even to shoot. the right. Like, what, what why? Do do? Why? What are you doing? Yeah. Exactly. Like, what are you doing? Just take the <laughs> shot, man. You're gonna score. Oh, Every goalkeeper in the, in the country knows you're gonna score. Yep. Two one um, the United States of America, huh, Lewis? Uh, Southampton one. Southampton. Southampton. Southampton two one. Okay, okay. I mean, it's nineteenth versus twentieth. I mean, ugh. it's a big one. It's a big one. It actually is. It's a very big one. It's a very big one. Yeah. Fourth what were you saying, Patrick? Oh, I was gonna say um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go two one Southampton. Good, good. That's good. You guys have all once again done something different than me. Good. And here's why: Leeds at home always bring the energy. They don't really bring much else, but they bring the energy. Uh, you know, and uh, Southampton uh, can't defend like at all. Um, uh, Chelsea didn't really attack much. Uh, you know, so we ever. We didn't really get to see that, uh, you know, so Southampton can't really defend that well. Um, and just because Patrick Bamford doesn't score doesn't mean that they don't have 
couple of goals in them every now and again. Uh, I said Leeds 2-1. Uh, you know, the uh, I think they're both managerless, both these teams. <laughs> Neither, oh, God, it's a shambles. It's a uh, shambles. No, 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 no. South, Southampton. No, no. They're prepared is what Potter used. No, yes. so every, everybody else is prepared. They'll be prepared for They're sure. Prepared. Uh, and they'll still take a 2-1. Uh, <laughs> James Ward Prowse gets the uh, gets the goal. Oh. And then one more before we get to uh, our teams. Nottingham Forest going to West Ham. Interesting one. This one's an interesting one. Um, I actually met a West Ham fan today. Uh, and the, com- the comment I said is a tough season, and he's like, just this one? <laughs> it's like, ooh. It's about as rare as meeting a Man City fan. <laughs> Those don't exist. Those don't Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, they're, you know, yeah. <laughs> There's no, that's Can't really you tell? Cool. Can't you tell our in house Man City fan is actually an undercover Man United <laughs> fan? Actually, actually we're, fan. we're just putting him into the Man City corner. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Because uh, you know, one man, only one Manchester team can have the greatest of all time in every position. So, every so uh, every I'm going to give you guys a I'm going to give you guys a leg up on this one because I looked this up. Uh, I have gone one nothing for the Hammers on this one. Uh, Nottingham Forest, yes, Nottingham Forest have scored twice away from home all season. They may be seven unbeaten at home. They have not two wins, two goals away from home all season long. Man. Yeah. I don't see it happen. I think uh, West Ham are going to defend well. I think Jared Bowen's going to get a winner. 2 1 Hammers. 2 1 to the Hammers. Yep. Yep. I think so. Are they going to waste twenty thousand dollars worth of bubbles this season, and then have or this game, and then have VAR call the goal back? That's the question. Oh, was what it? is the VAR? What is that? What's a, what is that? <laughs> Hang on, we're using that again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know no, what no, that. No, is. no, no, no. VAR. They don't use that. They don't even know what a handball is. Come on, they don't even know what all sides is anymore. West Ham, West Ham are going to have two keepers. We know that. Oh yeah. They're going to employ the two-keeper system. Oh, that's, that's why I don't think force are going to score. No, it's going to be nil-nil all day. Nil-nil all day. You're calling a nil-nil? Nil-nil all day. You're going to love watching this one then, aren't you, X? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Man, I'm Good looking deal. I'm looking at the table, and uh, Nottingham Forest is minus 20 on goal differential compared to West Ham, who's minus 10. But yet they have five more points than West Ham. It's that home form. But Forest away form, man, is dicey at best. Farmers. Let's go 2 nil West Ham. 2 niller to the Hammers. Well, uh, yeah, on that note, uh, this has been the For the Badge podcast. Hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Get that notification bell on. We'll have plenty more videos coming at you. Have a good night.